Hello friends, welcome to Science Gully. In today's video, we are going to learn how friction depends on the nature of the surfaces in contact. Let me explain the concept of friction. If I roll this pencil, it will stop after some time. In the absence of friction, the pencil will keep rolling, but it stops due to the resistance of the frictional force. When this block is resting on the table, the surface of the block and the table surface are in contact. Take a look at this diagram. You can see that friction is caused by the irregularities between the two surfaces in contact. When object A is resting on object B, these irregularities lock into each other. If we want to move object A, then we have to apply force to overcome this interlocking. On rough surfaces, there are large number of irregularities so the force of friction is high. On smooth surfaces, there are a few number of irregularities, so the force of friction is less. Now let us learn this experimentally. Now let us move on to the actual experiment. Here, I have a weight of 50 gram and some slotted weights of 50 grams. Now we have placed the 50 gram as our applied force. Observe that the block is not moving, which means the frictional force is more than the applied force. Now let us add one more slotted weight of 50 gram to the applied force. Can you observe that the block is still not moving? This means that the frictional force is more than the applied force of 100 grams. In the same way, I have added one more weight but still the block is not moving. Now I have added one more weight. Now let us see if the applied force is more than the frictional force. I have held the block purposefully just to explain you. If the applied force is more than the frictional force, the block will move. Do it one more time. The applied force is more than the frictional force. Hence the block is moving forward direction. As we have seen, the static friction is more than the applied force which is 150 gram. Now let us do another experiment for reduced friction. Now to reduce the friction between the block and the table surface, I am using this smooth plastic paper. I will place this smooth paper below the block. Here I have applied only 50 gram weight. Now I will release my hand slowly to check whether the object moves for this small weight. And yes, it moves. Do it one more time. I applied only 50 gram force and then the object started moving. Which means that the friction force is less than 50 gram. Our friction force has reduced significantly from 150 gram to 50 gram due to the change in the surface condition. Surface condition has changed from rough to smooth and hence reduced the friction force to 50 gram. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it.